some ladies already have the dress they wear this the dress they, they saved it online you are you are even ordering it now i beg where's the word reception in the bible yes engagement it must go to today's and kneel down with ring like this you think everything is over they will still have bridal shower when the woman gets pregnant there's now what they call baby bump eh how come you know it and you are planning to do it you know what somebody just said in their mind say apostle wait make i do and first then when i do and finish i will probe now that is the pattern of the world every aspect of human existence in the world system has a pattern for instance one of the patterns of the world system for marriage especially in africa is that you must throw a big reception i beg where's the word reception in the bible so the only land that the guy bought that he should have saved money to build house he will sell that land just because he wants to have a lavish reception and you know who does his christians so in fact the people from the other side copied from us they saw how buoyant and extravagant we were with celebrating weddings and it's okay to celebrate weddings but the bible says that we should be temperate in all things but the guy does not mind or the family does not mind if you hear things in families like hey eh, are you not the firstborn you you want them to you want us to be put to shame they will say we don't have money and all of that have you heard that that's the pattern that the world has is trying to force on us another pattern i'm careful so that somebody will not stand up and stone me careful of what i'll pick and the holy ghost is opening my eyes now to pick a lot of things huh those days when you um uh, when you are to get married the best thing is maybe the introduction at the traditional level uh which some cultures call the traditional marriage and then after that you know they go to church and that's it now there is engagement self engagement engagement yes engagement it must go to today's and kneel down with ring like this and they must capture it and put it on social media then after that you think you are over you think everything is over they will still have bridal shower and bachelor's eve many years ago i traveled for a wedding of a respectable minister in this country his daughter was wedding and the hotel where i stayed i stayed among bigger men of god so they didn't allow me to sleep on the bed they were they occupied the whole place so i had to sleep on the ground but because of that you can't sleep for long so i stood up and went outside around one and i was praying by 2 a.m i saw some people at the gate knocking and disturbing the security man when they opened it was the children of those pastors i was sleeping with all of them skimpily dressed they were just coming back from they say be that's how they mentioned it i didn't know i was a jew guy it was later it was the next day around you that okay b is bachelor's eve so they finish the bridal shower the whatever then the wedding then after the wedding when the woman gets pregnant there's now what they call baby bump eh? how come you know it and you are planning to do it You have planned, you have already. Ah. Some of you already, some ladies already have the dress. They wear this, the dress, they, they saved it online. You are you are even ordering it now. Now that is the pattern of the world. Are you hearing me? Go back to that scripture, Romans 12, verse 2, NIV. These are the patterns. This is how they do things and they will force you to conform to it but the bible says do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world it said but be transformed that as a believer you step out of what is done and say wait a minute let me probe these things through the lens of scripture you know so you know what somebody just said in their mind 
Say, Apostle, wait, make I do and first. Then, when I do and finish, I will probe. Is that true? Let's finish the scripture, please. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. 